Today, I want to describe a very nice 23C new feature that may make life easier for both developers and DBAs. It's a new way to establish outbound connections to sites identified with digital certificates. It's a facility that seems to have slipped under, a, under the radar a bit in all the new features documentation. Nowadays, developers are designing their applications in such a way that their code frequently makes outbound HTTPS calls. There seem to be a number of reasons, such as consuming RESTful services, using an authentication service, contacting email and print servers, all sorts of things. Historically, there were two problems with enabling this. Firstly, from release 11, we have to create an appropriate network access control list before the call will be permitted at all. That isn't too bad. In many cases, just one entry is all that's needed, an entry that will let anyone go anywhere. The second problem is worse. The database needs a wallet that contains the root certificates of the trusted certificate authority that issued the certificate, which identifies the remote site. Populating that wallet with all the certificates that will allow developers to go anywhere they need to go can be a time-consuming task. And you can quickly get fed up with requests to locate and add yet another trusted certificate. If you don't keep on top of this, your developers will not be able to use the services they need. And if the certificates aren't kept up to date, things will just stop working. Now, your operating system almost certainly comes with a certificate store that already contains the trusted certificates of most of the certificate issuers on the planet. Furthermore, when you do your OS updates with YUM or whatever it is you use, that store will be updated with any new versions of certificates and revocation lists and so on. In 23C, rather than having to build up and maintain your own wallet, you can tell Oracle to use the operating system's certificate store. For many sites, that is going to be a whole lot easier. The documentation on how to configure this is perhaps somewhat incomplete. So I'll demonstrate how it works. The location of your operating system supplied trusted certificate store will vary from one operating system to another. I'm using Oracle Linux, where the file is buried behind several layers of soft links. But here it is, down there, and we see cabundle.trust.crt. To see what's actually in it, I'm just going to run a little awk command that will extract the name of the certificates. And that's several hundred trusted certificate issuing authorities. Uh, some we all know, such as VeriSign is there, Microsoft is there, also some lesser known ones, South African Post Office, for instance. In all, there are about 350 certificates in there. Probably everyone that your developers are ever likely to need. It would take you years to build up your own wallet containing all of these. So now I'll connect to the database and see how easy it is to use. First, I'll try this URL using UTL HTTP dot request HTTPS www.oraclecom and it fails. Network access denied by access control list.
That's easy to fix. For example, I've created an access control entry that will allow anyone to go anywhere with these protocols. Try the query again. Ah, and now we get the dreaded Aura 29024, Certificate Validation Failure. And what I would have to do is go to Oracle's website, extract from it the trusted certificate for the certificate issuer, load it into my wallet, and only when that has been done will my developers be able to make that call. But there's now a much easier way. If I do this, exec utlhttp.setwallet path, and that would normally be pointing to the wallet, but I'm pointing it to system colon. Uh, the colon is required. And that will tell Oracle to use the operating system's certificate store. Try the query again, HTTPS, www.oracle.com, and hey, presto, it works. This is a huge time saver for all concerned. To conclude, the database can now authenticate remote services using your operating system's trusted certificate store. This is maintained by a system administrator, updated automatically whenever they do their regular OS patching. This is a lot of inconvenience removed from the DBA domain and will mean that your developers will no longer have to worry about whether the outbound calls they make will actually work. This is a very nice 23C facility that has largely slipped through all the new features, listings, and documentation. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.